If you're new to Android, you'll be hearing people talking about rooting their phones. What is rooting? And what does it do? Well, that's what this video is here for. It's a short rundown to tell you what rooting is and not the exact methods because it's different for every phone and different for every ROM. Rooting an Android phone can be likened onto jailbreaking an iPhone, except for its primary use is not to install third-party applications that weren't approved by the marketplace. Basically, rooting gives you full 100% unhindered access to your device, whether it's a tablet or a smartphone, it's the same principle. As I was saying earlier, the actual mythology of rooting varies greatly from device to device, and I've had some times where it's just been a simple application that you download to your PC or Mac computer and just do a simple one-click root, or it's been uh, fiery hoops that you have to jump through to get to your phone to be rooted. But anyway, once the phone is rooted, there is no physical difference, you'll not notice anything different other than it has root access. So nothing drastically changes, that's a common misconception, there's absolutely no difference whatsoever. So for most people, it will be the actual applications that are the main reason that you want to root. These applications have something called root access, so basically they can delve deeper into the operating system to get their tasks done. So an example of this would be um, overclocking your device, so your tablet or smartphone. So there's an application called SetCPU that can do this for you. Uh, obviously, set CPU needs um, extensive privileges to get right down to the hardware side of your phone and actually play around with the, um, the clock speeds of your processor. So, uh, these applications obviously need extra permissions to you know, deal with the hardware side of your phone. Um, there's other, other applications such as Screencast, which is like an on-screen recorder which basically mirrors everything that you're doing on the screen and saves it to a video file so you can um, access it when you need. And also a very big one is um, Titanium Backup. So basically what this does is it gets all your uh, applications, all your application settings, all that kind of thing and um, saves it to a file. So if your phone were to crash or you wanted to restore to a particular point in your phone's um, history then you can just back it up straight away. And also, rooting is definitely needed for installing custom ROMs and things like that, so that's another important reason. So basically, rooting just gives you more control over your device, whether it be hardware related or software related. So basically, that's a very quick summary in about two minutes. Uh, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.